Well, every time we talk, Melissa, we talk about you being one step closer, but surely now you can almost reach out and touch Rio, can't you? Oh, I think we're on the home straight now, so yeah, it's very close. Is it a relief? Do you feel a sense of relief now that you've, you've got this far? Uh, yeah, relief in the fact that I'm really happy that I performed when I wanted to perform and needed to, so that's definitely a relief. But yeah, just one last little hurdle and then... Um, yeah, it'll be really exciting. What's your what's your mood been like and your frame of mind since Tweed Heads, knowing this was coming up and what was at stake? What's it what's it been like for Melissa Tapper? Yeah, just sticking to oops, sorry, <laughs> sticking to the process uh, that I've been doing the whole time. Um, understanding that it still has to go one match at a time. Obviously, having the good result in Tweed Heads uh, sort of helped a little bit in terms of knowing that it wasn't. You know as much pressure as there were for the four and five spots um, but yeah I mean I still had to s stick to what I know one match at a time and um, check them all off as yeah. we did. <laughs> were you nervous? Have you been nervous at all? Have you tried to put it out of your mind? Oh uh, yeah I don't think you can get rid of nerves I think you've got to accept it that that's what happens and uh, obviously I try and manage it as best as I can sometimes I don't sometimes I do but uh, the whole aim is to try and keep it as uh, in the medium as much as possible and um, yeah can't complain. Obviously everybody's talking about if it happens tomorrow and it works out the, how momentous it is in terms of qualifying for both the Paralympics and the Olympics. Does it, what does it mean for you if that happens? Uh, yeah at this point in time there's still speculation it hasn't happened but uh, you know ask me that tomorrow and um, I'll be more than happy is, is to. It, but is it something you, you think about much the possibility that you could be doing both Olympics and, and what that would mean? Uh, to be honest not not really not yet I haven't really began to think about what it would mean and what I feel of it because I still haven't um, achieved it yet so I still just got to keep my mind on the job and then um, yeah, I think once it's finished and hopefully the result we're after, I'll be able to sit down and then actually soak everything up. You must be incredibly happy though with your own form. I mean, since Tweed Heads, you, you did some firsts there in terms of people that you beat and all that sort of stuff. You've come here, you've backed that form up here. You beat Sally today, which I don't know how many times you've beaten Sally in the past, but um, I mean, you're just playing from where, from where I'm sitting, some of the best table tennis you've ever played. Yeah, I'm definitely playing really well and I'm, I'm very happy about it, but you know, it's a credit to my whole team and everyone that I work with that have prepared me to get to here. And um, yeah, I think because everyone works so well together that, yeah, we're putting the right things in place and it's helping me to perform when it's required. Well, try and enjoy the moment tomorrow. I don't know how well you're going to be able to do that. I'm sure the butterflies will be going crazy, but uh, and I don't know that you'll sleep tonight. But um, <laughs> well done, Millie, and I hope it all goes well for you tomorrow and, and best of luck for the, the next few months. Awesome. Thanks, Ross. <laughs>